Hey everybody, welcome back. So about two years ago, I stuck this in my car. This is the Sterno Inferno Cook Kit, and this is the Sterno Cooking Fuel. Today, we're going to find out how it held up to extreme heat and extreme cold since November 8th, 2019. Alright, so I guess the name of this video is Why I Like Sterno Fuels for Vehicle Storage, okay? Um, it feels like it's perfectly fine. I know from past experience that this stuff holds up very, very well under extreme heat and extreme cold within a reasonable amount of time. Um, I've had some of these go dry sitting in my storeroom, which is temperature controlled and dark and perfect. So it's, you should check on them. I should have checked on this a little bit further. I had three in there, one in here and two on the side. Tested out the other two. They're perfectly fine, so I'll use those for whatever, for videos or whatever I'm doing out here. But this is the one that was inside, and this is the one that came with it. Now, if you remember, I placed this stove system in my vehicle on November 8th, 2019. That's when I did the first video. Now, other than a little bit of crud inside the pot, mainly from this here, this anodizing, um, we'll wipe that out, and I want to see how the Sterno fuel and the stove held up. The stove looks fine, so other than wiping it out, that's perfectly fine. But I want to see if the fuel held out good enough to, do, to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set this up. We're going to boil one cup of water, see how long it takes. And let me get it all set up, and we'll try all it. Right, so we're back here. I got it all set up. For those of you interested in this stove, if you fast forward all the way to the end, there'll be one of those little boxes. I will put the video that I did originally of the review of this stove, and that was on November 8th when I put it in my vehicle in 2019. So this is fairly simple to operate. You're just going to stick this in there, and we're going to light it with one of our lighters. I'm going to go through these lighters in a little bit and show you all about them, teach you all about them. Uh, it's a new company that I'm working with now. So we're going to show you all these lighters. Now that's burning. Then you simply, we're going to put a cup of, one cup of water on here. You'll simply stick the cup of water in there. Now I'm going to turn off the lights to show you that that actually is burning. I don't know if you can see it with the lights on here. Probably hear it. So it is working, okay? It's been in there for probably way longer than it should have been as far as, you know, my rotation of things goes. But uh, it is working. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop this guy on here. This has a nice little heat exchange on the bottom of it. We're going to start our timer, and we're going to use the cover, okay? And there we go. I don't know if you can see that. So, I'm going to bring you back when I get a rolling boil. Um, this does have a little snuffer cap on it, too, which is kind of cool. When you're done with the thing, you just stick this in there, and it will snuff the uh, fire out. This is a neat little system, and I figured it's good for the car, because I know that this kind of um, stuff lasts a good long time. You know, I don't have to worry about it getting all uh, all uh, dried out and sticky or anything. So we're going to put the lid on and bring you back when we're boiling. Alright, we're about 2 minutes and 30 seconds into this. I just wanted to show you really quick. Now, Sterno is not a quick boil, so don't think this is going to be lightning fast. But, 2 minutes, 39 seconds now. Got some steam coming off there. You got some bubbles forming on the bottom. Not bad, especially for something that was made probably in 2017, and I put it in my car in 2018, I'm in mean 2019, and it's still going. So that's not bad. So I'll bring you back when it's fully boiling. All right, four minutes, and I'm going to stop it right here. 55 seconds. You can see we got a boil going on in there. Let me move the camera around for you. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really can't complain. You know, it is Sterno. It isn't the uh, fastest boil in the world. But, there's a stopwatch for you. Whoop, get back over there. Four minutes, 55 seconds. So I can't really complain. And there it goes. It's really going now. So we're going to use this to snuff it. Put it out, just like that. It's out. And I'm going to put everything back to take everything apart. And we'll finish up the video. Alright, so as you can tell here, it didn't really burn all that much. Still jiggling around and good. So we'll keep that around. Might as well keep it around and use it for whatever I need. Uh, the cup is fine. It's still a little warm from the water. This part here is nice and cool now, and it's only been about three minutes. So we're going to put the sides together, unlock it. There we go. 
and put it all together, pack it up. I'm going to dump out the water. I'm just going to dump it in the thing over here. And that's it. Real simple. You see how the heat exchange definitely helps it? So it's definitely a good car kit. And I'm not concerned about keeping this stuff in here. You can see from the wear marks that's been in there a long time. And like I said, I did the video November 8th of 2019. Um, this is the first time that I am taking it out to test it. I've gone through my bag since then, but I was kind of lazy in replacing the three sternos that were in there. I have a two-pack plus one that fits inside. This is the new one that's going in there. This was made in 2020, 2021. Yeah, this was just made. So this is brand new. So we're going to be replacing that, and that is my secondary after review of the Sterno Inferno cook set and the Sterno Fuel. I think this is an excellent vehicle fuel for cooking, um, especially with this kit. You're able to boil water very quickly. It's not a problem at all, and it really, really works well when you need it. So anyway, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put a link down below where you can get this stove, because uh, I know you guys are going to want to check that out. And I will put a link on the end there in that box, like I said, one of these boxes on the end that shows this being used for the first time when we first reviewed it back in 2019. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our links down below. Down below, we have our Amazon store. Um, like I said, this will be in the Amazon store, but I'll leave a direct link to it. We have our Thrive Life link. We have our Food for Patriots link. And don't forget, Wholesale, wholesale Freeze Dryer down there. Um, you got to check him out. He's got a lot of good freeze-dried food. And it's a little more unusual and a little better tasting than what I've had before. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.